We started testing uh, last week at the convention center location, which has been uh, managed by the Florida Department of Emergency Management in partnership with FEMA and the National Guard. Uh, we really haven't gotten the test results back from that. Of course, that was uh, regional testing that was being done, but uh, many of the tests were of Orange County residents, uh, first responders uh, primarily. But we also began the testing last week uh, at the uh, East Orange location uh, where the Department of Health uh, began testing. We have not really started seeing the results from that. And so uh, collectively, until we really start seeing a significant number of tests being done in the county, it's very difficult to uh, project when we will have the surge. But based on all of that, uh, I know that uh, our numbers are going to continue to climb uh, daily. Uh, the only question is, for well, how long will it climb? Once we uh, project where the peak is, uh, then we can then begin to see a decline in the daily number of new cases. I'm waiting on data. Uh, many of our hospital partners here are collecting data themselves. They're doing tests within the hospital setting or the therapeutic communities. Uh, we are not really uh, getting all of the numbers from that. Uh, so uh, suffice it to say, you know, once I receive the data analytics from our hospitals, I have a better picture of uh, when we expect to uh, peak. Uh, the major hospitals here in the area have said to me that they intend to provide uh, some uh, data analytics to me uh, this week. Orange County already has the highest number of cases in Central Florida without all those, uh, without the amount of testing in place that, that uh, you eventually want to get to. Uh, what does that say about the effectiveness of the stay-at-home order? I am very comfortable with the effectiveness of the stay-at-home order at this point. It will be three or four weeks before we will really truly be able to measure whether or not uh, this uh, stay-at-home order has been effective or not. Uh, because that's the cycle of the virus itself, you know, with the incubation period of, of 14 days. And really, uh, healthcare experts are telling me that they're not even really certain about that. They don't know everything about this virus uh, in a precise, uh, measurable way. Why are the deaths that occur here, but not among residents, not included in those numbers? Well, the Department of Health actually gives us two numbers. They give us the total number of individuals uh, who have tested positive in our county, and then they break it down by residents, non-residents, and those uh, which are travel-related. So we do get to see the numbers, although I will admit that by the time we see the state's numbers, they lag a bit because by the time they post it, uh, the data input has occurred hours before that. And uh, if testing is continuing to occur, uh, real time, the numbers lag. The stay-at-home order was initially intended to last for a couple of weeks. You've said that you're open to extending it. How long would you be willing to extend it for? Again, I can't uh, be precise in how long we will extend it. Uh, my decisions will be based upon uh, really the feedback I get from the uh, data analytics that I will receive from the healthcare professionals, and I haven't received that yet. But suffice it to say, in most uh, major metropolitan areas that have uh, any uh, significant level of, of, of positive tests, uh, most have already uh, extended any type of stay at home or uh, social distancing requirements to April the 30th. Uh, so I really don't know at this point exactly uh, if we will extend it or for how, how long. I'm, I will make that decision before the end of this week. The Orange County Sheriff has said the county uh, is that a C or a B in terms of compliance with a stay-at-home order? How do you hope to get to an A? Through communications uh, by having these types of events. And I can tell you as the days have uh, moved forward since we instituted the order, uh, the compliance level just uh, intuitively uh, appear to be going up. Some people uh, have just recently come back into the area. They've flown back into the area from wherever they were located. Uh, some businesses uh, and others uh, didn't quite understand it. So we've increased our um, 
uh, attempt to communicate effectively with our community by doing press conferences. We have variable messaging of boards around the county now on many of our major thoroughfares that are reminding people both about the nightly curfews uh, and the fact that we are under a state of emergency with a stay at home order uh, to date uh, will not expire until at least April the 9th. Do you have an enforcement mechanism in, in place? Are you willing to uh, enforce the stay at home order for individuals and businesses that are non-essential that might be open? You know, fortunately, our community has really uh, bought into this. Uh, I will say 80% or better of our community clearly have bought into it. And uh, the Sheriff's Office and uh, other local law enforcement agencies receive uh, calls, believe it or not, from citizens who are reporting other citizens that they believe are in violation. And the sheriff, uh, even though the calls for service overall for both police and fire are down significantly, it creates, um, I think, the bandwidth um, for proactive patrols and where our law enforcement officers are getting out, patrolling through uh, some of the uh, sheltered uh, parking lots or uh, uh, shopping centers, I should say. Uh, and so uh, they're out and about, and I think all of that is helping to uh, gain compliance. I wonder how effective local stay-at-home orders like yours can be if there isn't a, a statewide order from the governor. Uh, ideally, uh, it would have worked better had there been some type of statewide uh, directive uh, but in uh, the, the fact of the matter is we don't have that. So what we tried to do was to uh, work collaboratively across the region. Uh, we had communications within Orange County with all of our mayors of the various uh, cities and municipalities, and they all agreed to what we were doing. So it's a countywide uh, effort. In addition, we had conversations with Osceola County and Seminole County. Uh, as you know, Osceola County's order mirrors that in Orange Seminole County. Uh, as the days have gone forward, they went from not really having any type of order to having uh, a social distancing order within their county. Uh, it's a much smaller county, but uh, in this region, Orange County is the uh, epicenter of uh, all commerce and everything that occurs in this, this, this uh, region. So we've led by example here, and uh, others across the region, going to Hillsborough County, that enacted uh, similar ordinances, and I believe Pinellas County as well. You say we haven't re maybe reached a peak yet in Orange County. Are you confident that medical supplies, such as respirators, masks, that kind of thing, and the number of tests that you're able to offer at testing sites at the convention center and, and in East Orange County are sufficient? We don't have enough tests kits and, and uh, to be quite frank about it. Uh, but uh, doc, Dr. Pino, the uh, physician that's in charge of the Florida Department of Health location in Orange County, has said on numerous occasions that everyone should treat everyone like they have the virus. And if you keep that in mind, uh, then you'll protect yourself and your family, I think, a bit more. Uh, we have a shortage of tests, uh, and we're likely not going to get the test kits and the test results uh, in a timely manner. So we're moving forward in this community. Um, again, I think that this indicates a, a overall lack of preparedness uh, by the state and by the nation to deal with a pandemic of this sort. So we're all learning from this and making adjustments. Of course, the president and governor have called for uh, additional manufacturing firms to manufacture the equipment and the personal protective equipment for our healthcare workers and first responders. Uh, we're seeing those supplies begin to flow into our community. As it relates to ventilators, uh, there will be a shortage of ventilators. Um, and that is not unique to here in Orange County, but uh, really across the nation. Now, if we are successful with all of these uh, proactive measures that we're putting in place, perhaps we won't need the, the ventilators. So that's why it's really incumbent upon everyone in this community to really adhere to uh, the stay at home orders and the other things that we have done proactively here. Uh, to date, our hospitals have the capacity to deal with uh, the emerging crisis. Uh, if that crisis uh, 
ends up uh, escalating to the point where we have widespread uh, uh, positive tests within our community, it could overwhelm our system at that time. And so we are having communications with our healthcare providers and others on uh, some of the uh, innovative things that we could do if we reach that point. So in other words, uh, we're planning for the worst, but hoping for the best. About a week ago or so, we talked about the support that the county was planning to initiate for uh, workers in the economy, uh, you know, obviously heavily dependent uh, upon tourism and hospitality, which is a, a hard hit industry in this outbreak. Uh, what is the status of, of help for those workers? And do you think the state should be doing more to expedite unemployment benefits, maybe streamlining that process? I'll start first with here in Orange County, we tried to uh, put something in place uh, quickly to fill the gap between the point of time that people needed crisis assistance in terms of rent payment or utility payments to the point that they would be able to receive benefits from either the state or the federal government. We know that those processes take much longer periods of time. In fact, Congress, when we announced that we were going to be uh, doing this uh, crisis assistance, Congress had not even passed the uh, necessary legislation at that point uh, to enable the, uh, the assistance across the country. And so it was uh, designed to assist uh, within Orange County, Orange County residents only up to 1,500 families. Uh, that process is going well. Uh, we have now uh, converted to both uh, an, a, a telephone call-in system as well as an online system. The preferred method of uh, contacting us for crisis assistance, it has now moved, uh, shifted to the online application process. And so we've increased our staffing to be able to deal with the demand that we have for the services. Uh, so I, again, I would say that that, pro that process is going well uh, in terms of should the state, or will the state be able to expedite any processes for unemployment compensation? Uh, that rests within the hands of the state. When we started this process, uh, the state legislature had not concluded uh, this uh, legislative session in, in 2020. That has now been concluded. The state appropriated, uh, I believe it was somewhere around $92 million uh, to, for the COVID uh, virus response. Uh, that is proved, going to prove to be inadequate, uh, but the state will likely have to go back into a special session at some point to address uh, the broad needs of the individuals, families, and the business community here within Florida, uh, they will have a better idea of how the federal funds will flow into the state as well. So uh, a lot of that is uncertain at, at this point, but we will see some dollars from uh, both the federal and the state that will flow into our community here into Orange County itself as well. Will you be pressing them to do that? Will you be pressing legislators and the governor to do that as the mayor of one of the, the most populous uh, counties in the state? Yeah, yeah I'm going to be um, trying to work as best as I can with uh, all levels of government. Uh, fortunately, I, I have good relationships with a lot of federal officials as well as uh, those throughout the state. I've been around for a long time now, and I'll use those uh, relationships and influences uh, for the betterment of the people here in Orange County. Uh, so I remain optimistic that uh, you know we will get our fair share of any dollars that will become available, uh, knowing that at the end of the day, uh, it probably will be insufficient uh, to make uh, every person uh, completely whole as a result of this crisis that we are going through. Just finally, do you have any words for uh, residents here in the county who are fearful, who are worried, who are staying at home and trying to ride this out? Uh, our residents have done a good job, a really, uh, I think, agreeing to the orders that we have put in place. They are following the CDC guidelines. Uh, and so I, I applaud them for that effort. Uh, by and large, the feedback that we get is very, very supportive of, of what has uh, happened in the way of orders within our community. So we just look forward to uh, getting past this, and we will 
you know, this is uh, another crisis that um, our community and all of America, really all of the world has uh, seen now. Uh, and so we're not alone, but together we can weather this storm. And uh, I know that we can.